Hey everyone and all of our members, our Pomsi Tay stars, our sub patrons and subscribers, welcome to our next episode mm -hmm. for our members only called Family Values. <clears throat> we figured we need to go in a little bit deeper. There's some things that, you know, were bothering these two pretty Ds. Mm -hmm. And it all had to do about the last, how we ended our last episode about uh, security. Yes. But, you know, you really think about families one are supposed to look out for one another, protect each other. But uh, let's do a little flashback into history, shall we? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we have some examples that really ring true. Yeah. So starting off, there was a family by the name of the Romanovs. Right. Why are they important? They're important because they were killed. And... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that where we're going? We're jumping right in? Like, damn. Yes. Shake, shake, shake. Let's jump right no. in. No, okay? They're, so they're, some context. They're just some, one of the recent ones. And the reason we're talking about them, and we're digging into all the other ones, and that's the, the um, podcast that we'll be doing. Into but the it's a lot family of lines, yeah. Family lines. But this one is uh, more recent. It's the most recent prior to um, um, Princess Diana and some other yeah events right so so no this particular case the reason we brought up the romanovs is they are actually a part of the royal family mm -hmm. so at one point in time um the royal family pretty much was related to all of the other royals within europe yes <clears throat> and of which mm -hmm. the tsar nicholas was uh first cousins mm -hmm. with king george right of britain yeah in fact there was so, so that's why we wanted yeah. to yeah they were so they looked so alike well, we'll get into it. Then yeah, see. yeah. But people used to think they were twins. Uh, these people vacationed together. They uh, did a lot together. So they were, they were a close family. You know, they didn't associate with other mortals. Ro royals <laughs> hung out with other royals. Exactly. And being so, because mm -hmm. they're family. Yeah, and so. not, yeah, not only that, but back then there was no service. Correct. Service is universal. They weren't going out shaking hands, walking about. No, they're living in their castles, living their little castle life. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> we kick it off with them because could they have been saved? Yes. Right? And I had come across the article with the History Channel about that. So they talk in and go into the whole history of what happened to them. Mm -hmm. So at the time in 1918, the Russian Revolution was quickly upon them. And instead of trying to fight the change with the people Tsar Nicholas said you know what okay I'm gonna go ahead and abdicate y'all go ahead do you and there was a moment there was probably a good year of time for him to come up with a plan B and get his family out <clears throat> close to 15 months and during that time period you know other royal relations still in power in other countries they started to figure out well hey what can we do to get the family asylum because you know, if the Russians get a hold of them, you know, they something might happen, right? And with many of the Romanov descendants believing King George of England, the Tsar's cousin and grandmother to Queen Elizabeth II, could have saved them. Right. And that makes sense. I love the like, way how you narrowed down where he said, uh, you do you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we all went down. I love that. That was uh, <laughs> too bad. Yes. <laughs> But like you said, right? Look at them. Twins. Exactly. Like, damn near they could have, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of eerie almost. Exactly. But, you know, so the government's kind of barking down on them. What are they going to do? How can we get them out? Royals are having a, a maybe they had a conference at Sandringham? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and just to discuss, well, what should we do with our dear Riminolfs? Yeah. But, our dear cousins, yes. Right. So, you know what? The, the governments were like, you know what, let's grant them asylum, and the British agreed. Right. Okay? Uh, psych! <laughs> we didn't really mean that. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> they literally, the next day, we didn't really mean that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Britain regretted their offer almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And then the government was nervous because now if the Romanovs are here on the British shores, what are the British going to do to us? Right. Right. What are their people going to do? Right. And, uh, and the British wasn't ready to say, oh, no, 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 you do you. 
Exactly. Look like nobody she broke it and, and walk away. They were right. ready to do that. So no. they were worried that though the British people were gonna we're rise gonna up. Come, come for them. Yes. And, but the thing is how duplicitous these people are is that they told their relatives, Oh yeah, we got you, we got you. Oh, man, how yeah. I got you? Man, you better I bring got on. you back. Exactly. Yes. You, your family, and your maids, whatever. Oh, yes, we got bring you. Them. Bring yes. them. And you see the black bring, bring the gold too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bring them. Yes. And we got you. And they could have taken them and put them, um, put on them some secret in some island. secret island, secretly bring them to some yeah. secret place in Britain. Yeah. And it's not like they're going out parading in gold carriages. They could have been silently kept in the countryside somewhere yes. and lived their rich monarchy li life in one of those castles. Nobody would have known. They didn't have paparazzi back then. Exactly. People weren't driving around taking pictures. Nobody would have known. Exactly. But they were so scared for their own own security and they wanted their to own remain monarchy. their own money they, they wanted to remain. remain so they decided yeah we'll tell our family yes <clears throat> but guess what we ain't showing up we tell the government no don't go get them don't go get them leave them alone leave them there but let them think we're coming right and so that's he never what they communicated did. to his cousin right but he told the government no nah, i don't let them in yes or don't go get them yes or don't provide whatever yes so he technically abandoned his family for mm -hmm. politics exactly and, his, and for optics. Yes. Yeah. Politics, optics, whatever. He wanted to uh, maintain his kingdom, his kingdom and his uh, And he says, his family. Family. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. But so this is his did. favorite cousin. <clears throat> this is and, his and his cousin. And, and wives and cousin wives and uh, kids. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> so that's what they did. So, mm -hmm. you know, he had a role to play, mm -hmm. but he chose cowardice and violence <laughs> <laughs> because we all know that those people when they they were taken from the castles they thought they were being taken they were taken to this house they thought it was a secure place and you know they were fine at least that was their probably their men mentality oh yeah which was probably a good thing not knowing that yeah i'm about to die right. and they took them in the basement and, and of that home and shot them. and shot them all, all of, them. of them and then they only announced that the king was killed mm -hmm. or the czar was killed and then they were thinking oh well we can get the kids let's get the kids at least you know because they lost their father y'all really that stupid mm -hmm. you really think they're gonna let them people go like that no they're ruthless yeah they killed them all they, they knew they were all killed anyway yes. so um so that's just the first example of, of security mm -hmm. remote yes <laughs> and how the royal family for their own survival they would eliminate anyone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. In fact, you and me, we probably... You know those drones we think we keep seeing? Yeah. Shit. It's not the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But... <laughs> mm -hmm. That synagogue in, in Fort Wood, a couple of miles from You think from that here. was a test? You think a test run? It, it, I, I think it was a British person. I don't know. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> we might need to move I, and soon <laughs> exactly but <laughs> so that, that was our first example right so then you come into a little bit more modern day modern day yes and so, a big lie right so in the 90s um you know it's it's, it's hard just, yeah. for all of us because we were fans yes of princess diana yes and, and after her death um everybody said they blamed it on security because if you look at the failure of all of what happened, right. one, she was um, a, an ex-royal, but despite being an ex-royal, you will always have security for the rest of your life. Right. It's just like when you retire as an MP or mm -hmm. the prime minister, all of those people right. all get security. Right. Wow. Paid yes. by the government. Yes. And the thing is, she was the mother, the mother of, of two... the future kings. Exactly. And the grand, the, the grandmother of the future king and queens. Exactly. Yeah. So, so she should have had protection. Protection. So, you know, in this article that I had stumbled across of in the Baltimore Sun, this is dated 1997. Mm -hmm. You know, they, one, the accident was avoidable. We all know this. Right. And then two, why didn't she have proper protection? Right. That was one of the key things that stood out to me mm -hmm. at that time. And they're thinking that. And they did the investigation, came mm -hmm. out, like you said, security. So, and they different. lied. They lied about well, it. Well, let's dig a little deeper. So mm -hmm. then there was another article we came across. And um, 
and the whole title, like like you're saying, D, mm -hmm. about this lie. Mm -hmm. So it said, why Princess Diana refused security protection from the royal family after divorce. Right. So you know full well that's a lie. Why? Because they said she knew this woman was hounded by the um, paparazzi Correct. all her life with her kids, with everyone. She was with her kids who would be the future king. Correct. Why would she refuse her security when she's out with her kids, when she no, has her so kids? They, mm -hmm. There was security when she was with the kids. They mm -hmm. made sure that happened. Mm -hmm. But when she was by herself... She didn't have any security, but exactly. still. Exactly. Why was that different? Different, different. So right? me, I'm thinking this, she wasn't around to speak for herself. So they came up with this narrative that she was so paranoid about Charles, the security people going back and telling Charles what she's doing. At well, this point, there's some validity to that, to the effect of, remember how they used to watch her? I don't care. Her the divorce. I understand. I'm mm -hmm. talking before the divorce. Right. Yes. Right. But she's divorced now. Right. I don't think she would have said, get rid, at least this is my opinion. Other people in the world could have their opinion. My opinion is she wouldn't have said, I don't want security because Charles is going to be spying on me. Charles don't care what, can, what he's going to do. Um, take her to court to get full custody. He already had full custody of right. the kids because the kids are royals. Right. So and she always... had to go back and fight to make sure she could keep her title and all these other That's things. That's all done with. Right. She's not asking him for money. She could go out and date anybody. She don't care if Charles knows. She knows Charles was a slut. Right. So she, uh, um, she's going to go do her. Exactly. Just right. like you said, she was doing hers. Okay. <laughs> so like you said, you do you, I'll, I'll do, do me. me. Right. You know, she so, would not, I don't think she would have said no, no security. So, but mm -hmm. the fact that back, like I told you back then, the articles, then everybody was asking, um, security right. experts from across the globe are asking, why didn't she have the protection? Right. Which we know that she is rightfully due. Right. So they lied about it. it right. right. And that was the cover story about right. her not wanting to right. give feedback to Charles and the Queen. Right. And as, as a result, we all know that because she did not have that security, mm -hmm. she was exposed. Exposed to the nth degree. But, mm -hmm. but remember why mm -hmm. you think that she was exposed or targeted, I should dare say. Okay. Besides the fact of being Princess Diana. Okay. I think at some point, uh, and this is just uh, my... You know, what should I say? What What are those people who clairvoyant? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Cleo. <laughs> this is just me thinking. Mm -hmm. Princess Diana being around would be difficult for Prince Charles to get married with um uh, these with two Gladys. boys with the, to, to Gladys with these two boys. You know, who would decide with would they go to the wedding or would he have to have two other people stand up with him as opposed to his sons? And would the public who still was in love with Diana say, oh no, he's going to marry her mistress. It would haunt him for the rest of that marriage. It wouldn't have been cute. It wouldn't have been pretty. Right. So, um, and she still would have outshined um, Gladys and, and him. You know, she could outshine them going to the gym. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. So to me, yeah. her not having security when it was removed was uh, purposeful and it was full. So she could be, you know, whatever happened to her, happened to her. Right. But what was the other part of that besides him and his little selfishness? Okay. Who so was she, she dating could, at the time? She was dating a man of color. Thank you. They were like, let's get rid of her. Let's drop security. Let him provide it. And you know what? He's in Britain. He can't have um, security with armed security or anything. They could, anybody could take her out. They could put all those lies out about her paparazzi who loves her with, you know, something is going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. So I think that's why um, the security was taken and Diana was left vulnerable and Diana died. Yeah. Okay. So D mm. didn't get to the other part of what she was saying. Okay. Go ahead. It was really around the fact that, um, it was racist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just going to say she was, she found love. The person, like you said, happened mm -hmm. to be of color. Mm -hmm. They were going to get married. Yeah. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Yes. Prince <laughs> villain. Yes. Would have a Person of color for his stepdaddy.
Yes, that's it. That's why you, you, you forgot we talked about it and I forgot. You mean because the boys would have a half brother or sister if they if she had kids oh yeah she was still young enough she could have had kids yes okay <clears throat> so but the stepfather too the stepfather part too was critical he wouldn't have been a stepfather he would just have he would have been a stepfather technically okay. if your mother remarries somebody else and you that's your mother yes that's your stepdad oh you mean um bullion yeah bullion would have had yes a stepdad. and mm -hmm. him being future king oh i can't have no person of color as my stepdad she it could have been a, that Indian doctor, mm -hmm. or it could have been the Arab guy right. that, and she she loved both of them. that she died yeah. with. Yes. And, and, and like I said... So you tell him. I, no, I you were that. trying to say it earlier, and you just forgot all about it and tried to go to high road with all okay, this other yeah, mess. Yeah, you go in. You go in. <laughs> it was because of they were being people of color. Excellent. Good. Like you said, the image. They didn't want that image. Exactly. And, and it comes more evident when we get to our next example. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crack me up sometimes <laughs> okay but yes but we mm -hmm. love you princess diana yes but yeah girl they they, they did, did you wrong, wrong. Mm -hmm. and we here yes and you have another defender yes Good. so mm -hmm. then the latest came out was that the duke of sussex has applied for a judicial review at, from a home office <clears throat> decision to not allow him to personally pay for police protection for himself and his family when they're in the UK, a legal representative has said. Right. Now, the news was all buzz and it was breaking news, yeah. but they didn't have any detail. Yeah. So. Well, this, 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 this asshat. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo -woo. I will, yeah. Woo-woo Wutong said that um, Prince Harry, um, can provide his own damn security if he wants to come back to UK and if he doesn't want that doesn't want to come back then uh, he will be he will not be missed you know just trying to make it perverted no, and then this other this other one who is going to be sued again said uh, this is the the daily fail said uh, he demands the gov um the prince harry threatens legal action against the uk government and demands the return of taxpayer funded security that is untrue and prince harry got <laughs> sue the bastard because that is totally wrong that is that is lies yes it all is lies and it's mm -hmm. ignorance and hate it's mm -hmm. disgusting right so let's bring some context well though. and the thing is okay go ahead bring no, the go ahead. context go ahead say no me. i just want to say the timing of when this came out right is to distract from prince andrew Exactly. Okay. And because the Jubilee wasn't biting and the Lilibeth thing wasn't biting, nothing was biting. Well, you canceled the Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's hear, here is the context. Remember when they done took Prince Harry's security away from him, his birthright? Mm hmm He's a prince. Right. He has it for life. Mm hmm Regardless of anything she goes down. Mm hmm For life. He was in the military for 10 years. For life. He's a prince. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> they said in the Oprah inter interview that they were advised on short notice mm -hmm. that their security detail would be removed. Now, mind you, <clears throat> yeah, let me continue. Let me continue on. The reason that was concerning, because at the time, Megan had Archie, mm -hmm. young baby Archie. He's trying to protect his family. And... You know, well, first of all, from his perspective, he never thought he would have his security removed, right? Right. And then also based on the level of threat against them, has there been a change in that threat? No. If, if anything, it got worse. worse. Right. right. Because of the media stories. And, you know, it's crazy because Megan was, look, give him back his security. He's a prince. We need the security. We need right. The protection. He needs his protection. Yeah. Right. And if you're not going to give it to my son, yeah. uh, at least keep it for your own goddamn son. What the hell is wrong with you? Exactly. Right. Um, if you're not going to give him a title and the title is part of that protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But give it back to Harry. Mm -hmm. And um, you're not going to get no, any pictures of my son because you're not giving him protection. Right. Mm -hmm. We haven't created this monster around us. Mm -hmm. Y'all allowed it to happen. Yes. So who is she calling out? The royal family. Exactly. Exactly. So we didn't ask for this shit. You did. Exactly. So, you know, Prince Harry released a statement. So like you said, the timing is, um, mm -hmm. what, was the, what was the word you used? Something. It'll come up in the last sentence. Well, he... Do you he want to read it or do you want to shoot yeah, to no, the bottom? No, you go ahead and read it. You can screw to the bottom. The thing yeah. is, he had, um, this had been going on and we didn't know about it. 
It's back in September. He exactly. was exactly. He yeah. and he was denied. Correct. So, uh, and he did it probably because of some, you know, like you well, he had you to go back for Prince Philip's funeral. Right. And in that event, mm -hmm. they his position was leaked. He didn't have the protection. Yeah. He could have been harmed. Right. And when he went when he went to that well child um, event. event. On Paparazzi his, chased them. Didn't exactly. have the protection. Just like Princess Diana. The unveiling of the statue. Mm -hmm. Didn't have the protection. Yes. You wonder why that man got the fuck out so fast. Yeah. Part of that is because mm -hmm. he didn't have this protection. Yeah. And they wouldn't let him pay for it. Mm -hmm. So. And the longer he stayed there, the more at risk he was. At risk he was because villain would know where he was, what his actions were, what he was doing, and checking on him and say, okay, hey, he's over here. Hey, yeah. he's there. I don't trust that man. No, no, nobody should. Mm -hmm. So but go ahead. Yeah. No, nobody mm -hmm. should. So, you know, they can read the full statement, but mm -hmm. the, the key of this statement is the crux is at the very end. Mm -hmm. So the UK will always be Prince Harry's home. This is his legal representative. Mm -hmm. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and the country he wants his wife and his mm -hmm. children to be safe in. Mm -hmm. With the lack of police protection comes too great of a personal risk. Prince Harry hopes that his petition after close to two years mm -hmm. of pleas for security in the UK. So two years. Oh yeah. They could have pushed printed this two years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. We'll resolve the situation. It is due to a leak to a UK tabloid, tabloid. with surreptitious timing. We feel it necessary to release a statement setting the strikes. Strikes. The yeah. facts straight. The facts straight. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So stop all your bullshit articles and all this other mess. Mm -hmm. And and leaking stuff that is inaccurate. Yep. And but what you need to do is print the truth. You mm -hmm. know, print you know, this is what's going on with me and my family. You're trying to set me up like you did my mother. Exactly. You know, and, uh, and we all know how that ended, it was horrible. Yeah, and you're trying to set me up the way you, you severed the czars. You know, you don't take care of them. No, you're not. Right. You ain't taking care of nobody. And then I'm over there in a car with my wife and child, children now. Yes. A little bit. Yes. Lily. Yes. Yeah. And Archie. Yes. Come on. So to do that mm -hmm. and knowing full well, they're subject to racist terror threats. Mm -hmm. But the British royal family and the government are saying no to security. Mm -hmm. Are you right. fucking kidding me? All right. So and not even allowing his detail because he has his personal security in team, the United States, but he yeah. needs additional armed forces because in the UK you cannot be armed mm -hmm. the way you can here in the United States. Right. <laughs> in in that and they right. don't have jurisdiction. There. Yeah, he could come to Texas. He could get a damn tank to protect him. Right, but they they don't have um, jurisdiction there with the yeah. armed service. Yeah, and you have to go through the Met Police. Exactly. And the other thing too is that. Um, he doesn't have intelligence. Right. And he would need access to that through mm -hmm. said state police. What the hell, people? The firm gets intelligence on any threats Correct. to the royal family members. You think they will give that to Harry? Uh, you think he should still be getting it regardless of where he is in his, his Let's station. say it's Villian, Villian, William. Well, I the know that, damn that uh, brother. The Kent. Yeah. The racist Prince of Kent. Mm -hmm. He I has security. He gets it, even mm -hmm. though full well he don't do shit. Yeah. Prince Andrew gets security. Mm -hmm. yeah. And details and gets all the MI6 readouts. Exactly. Yeah. Which there will probably be, um, I don't know what's going on with him and, you know, pedophiles. Right. But, um, and um, all those non-working senior royals. Exactly. Oh, oh, royals, not even senior, just the uh, low-level royals. They have security. Right, and speaking of, mm -hmm. guess how much they pay? For? Taxpayers still pay for it. Mm -hmm. Taxpayers continue to pay for the nonces' security. Mm -hmm. Two million pounds a year for twenty-four-seven security yeah. for a pedophile. A pedophile. Mm -hmm. Charles plays extra mm -hmm. for Gladys's kids. Mm -hmm. Gladys and her kids. Oh, really? Who are non-royal? Mm -hmm. And have no position. He cares more about Gladys's kids than he cares about the kids with Diana, except for um, his blood children. Yes, except his yeah. biological children. Right, except for but it's the ones with Diana. So you know, Camilla doesn't like that, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't like it. He felt he was forced to marry her and forced to have because kids, she was so. what, a virgin and she wasn't ever married. So they needed a yeah, pure. Whatever. They needed a pure whatever well that's what they needed but he she felt was an earth investor so i don't think i think he would pay he would cover mm -hmm. uh william 
because he's the heir. But as far as he's concerned, Harry, he, he Harry has that red hair, you know. Eh, he, he didn't like that red hair too much. I'm well, he sure. wanted a girl, and he kept bitching about that. Yes, mm -hmm. and he got two alpha males. Well, one alpha male and one pretending to be alpha male. Baltimore. <laughs> uh, <yeah, well. laughs> Baltimore. Cain. Yes. Cain. Yeah. Yes. So I, I think this is this is a Cain and Abel and Joseph and Jacob type of situation. It is. It is. Yeah. But guess who ain't playing? Because guess who read those stories? Guess who saw his history and knew how it ended? Who? Harry. Yes. He ain't playing with these hoes. No. He's not playing. And he saw what happens to his mother. He's, and you know, you know what? Mm -hmm. he, he should not step foot back in England to see the Queen's, for the Queen's funeral. He should not step back in England mm -hmm. for a coronation of his father, if it comes to that. He should not step back in England for a coronation of his brother. I don't think he was ever going to do that anyway. Right. But all of them, they're on their own. But here's the sad part. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the next picture, you know, mm -hmm. a family of Harry and his beautiful family. They need him. Oh, yeah. They need him. Because once the, the queen is gone, mm -hmm. nobody to cover. Mm -hmm. Nobody to, you know. Mm hmm coordinate whatever the hell they're going to coordinate yeah they can't blame decisions on the queen correct mm -hmm. and charles is not he lost all his street cred well he never really had street cred yeah but any kind of whatever he forgiveness built up, he built up yeah gone mm -hmm. uh, yeah the day that he pulled it from harry he pulled that shit yes. pulled that stunt yeah cut him off from his stipend oh, that you, he's, you give him as a as a working oh, royal oh my god he did his grand his great grandfather's move exactly the he did a oh we can't have a black person be related to the king they need exactly to that's out. what i said yeah that's yeah. what i'm saying yeah exactly mm -mm -mm. yeah and oh it, it'll, and be, it'll probably... be just unfortunate if my son goes to you okay bye yeah exactly and if I were uh, Megan and Harry, is, is it wrong? Uh, you know, I go, I go get a tan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just throw out a tan and stuff and show up if they invite you to show up. But we really, really tan for the pictures. And your kids, yeah, I know they're too young to be in front of a stand. Yeah, machine, don't do that. But can you put the cream on them? <laughs> no, it's so wrong. No, they don't make baby tan and cream. <laughs> But a, a filter, a filter. Of, <laughs> get some, get someone to mess with the pictures. Put filters on it so you all look dark. <laughs> this is Ooh. sickening. Yes. We laugh because it's, it's, the, it's, it's scary. Think it's, it's, it's scary. Fun, and know, it's, it's, it's scary. It, but sometimes you have to laugh at the idiot. Idiotacy. Yeah. Or idiotacy. Idiot. But, you know, like you think. When you think of how they used to put that white powder on your face, which was filled with lead right. poison, and it was killing them at the same time. Right. The whole thing was looking white. And, and white people who had a, 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 a sun kiss, they would identify. They would call out. You right. Know? And we'll talk about that in, a, in a, another podcast. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, they're all about that color. Light, that color. Mm -hmm. that, I don't call it colors. They're all about that whiteness. In mm -hmm. within the white culture, they're all about that shade. You know that. Well, yeah. no, they're all about that pure blood bullshit. That's not. That's that's that and ain't sex. even blood. Red. That's you know that amount of remarrying and intermarrying. You know, come on. Well, I know they got some crazy genes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't gonna be a lot of pretty people. It's only. <laughs> it's, it's only now that they're marrying outside the royal family. Is that why the queen was like, look, no, not. Not horsey face. We need something new. Something exactly. Blood. That's yeah. why they kind of like, oh, yeah. We, even all the other roles, of course, we are going mm -hmm. out there. But, um, you know, people, um, we just have to call them out because they are setting her up, Prince Harry. And they're going to try to say, oh, he um, he denied security. He didn't want, he wanted to pay. He didn't want to get any security from us. No, he's trying to get security, you all. And he's been trying for the last two years. Two years. And he knew he would have been at risk when he went back for Prince Philip. Mm -hmm. And look, I hope the next time he goes back, private plane. Do yeah. not go through yeah. any public anything. Yeah, and when he went for that unveiling, he said, you know what? Um, this is what we're going to do. 
You know, call he, we, call I, a print, um, yeah. Sir Elton John, mm. get his carbon neutral plane, mm. and fly your ass over there. See, yeah. he was out. Mm -hmm. Prince Harry went in, and then he came out. He's like, bye. Oh, well, now we know why. Mm -hmm. Well, besides the fact that he had to get back to the, the lovelies. Because yes. <laughs> I would rush to get home. It's it's okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Little baby Lily. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm. yeah. Mm. Yes, sick. Yes. Because I think of those little beautiful babies we saw in that Christmas picture. This is who the queen is, is, is uh, sacrificing. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Give that man permission to get his pay pay for the security and give him the intelligence that he needs to protect himself and if not he might have to use other men or uh, means yeah mm -hmm. oh don't even go over there just uh you know no she, i agree don't step a foot on yeah the she she passed away oh granny passed away but we zoomed the, the <laughs> <laughs> so we good you know we good we good you do you granny we I'm did we, do we do we you know yeah <laughs> Oh. For Jubilee? Nah, I can't come. Can't Jubilee? Come. Nah, that's Jubilee. my baby girl's birthday. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And we're having a barbecue. Eh? I know, I, right? I have to be there for the barbecue. Snoop's going to be there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you do you, 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 you with your Jubilee parties. I'm going to do me over here me for up. the picnic. You yeah. know. No security? Yeah. You're going to have a coronation? Oh, you do you. You got you got William behind you. You got that, that brilliant aura of little, light. Yeah. And yeah. the skinny bones, skull yeah. bones. Yeah. 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 And probably some of the button wearing girlfriends and whatever behind them. Yeah. You know. Oh, what's she going to look like? Oof, you know. We don't know what outfit. You don't know. Oh, Lord. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You guys do you. I'm going to be doing, doing me over here with my baby. Exactly. But, man, these examples, it's, it's deep. Mm -hmm. They did. They did. I'm gonna call them up. Yes. And nothing better happened to Harry, Megan, and those kids. No. Absolutely nothing. Oh no! Don't they realize that there's half the globe that is ready to um, ride or die? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what we Ooh. need is the British military to call out the royal family for treatment of one of their own. That's what we need. Matter of fact, I hope. Harry built an alliance with his said royal uh, colleagues, mm -hmm. his yeah. uh, vet and vets, mm -hmm. and say, look, y'all, mm -hmm. Met Police trying to fuck it up. What can you do? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But okay. anyway, we thank you guys for listening in and hope you enjoy. You do you. And I'll <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.